Jiyath al Din Tuluk, Giyasuddin Tughlaq, or Ghazi Malik, Ghazi means fighter for Islam, died c. 1325, was the founder of the Tuluk dynasty in India, who reigned over the Sultanate of Delhi from 1320 to 1325. He founded the city of Tulukabad. His reign was cut short after five years when he died under mysterious circumstances in 1325. He was succeeded by Muhammad bin Tuluk. Early life Literary, numismatic and epigraphic evidence makes it clear that Tuluk was the Sultan's personal name, and not an ancestral designation. His ancestry is debated among modern historians, because the earlier sources differ widely regarding it. Tuluk's court poet Badr i Chach attempted to find a royal genealogy for his family, but this can be dismissed as flattery. This is clear from the fact that another courtier Amir Khusrau, in his Tuluk Nama, states that Tuluk described himself as an unimportant man, Awaramard, in his early career. The contemporary Moroccan traveller Ibn Battuta states that Tuluk belonged to the Karana tribe of the Turks, who lived in the hilly region between Turkestan and Sindh. Ibn Battuta's source for this Klalkish slave of the earlier emperor Balban, and that his mother came from a Khatri, Rajput, family of India. No contemporary sources corroborate this claim. Different sources give different accounts of Tuluk's early career. Shams i Siraj Afif, in his Tariq i Firuz Shahi, states that Tuluk arrived in Delhi from Khorasan during the reign of Aladdin Khalji, along with his brothers Rajab and Abu Bakr. However, Tuluk's courtier Amir Khusrau, in his Tuluk Nama, states that he was already present in Delhi during the reign of Aladdin's predecessor Jalal ud Din. R. According to Khusrau, Tuluk spent a considerable time searching for a job in Delhi, before he joined Jalaluddin's Imperial Guard. Khusrau states that Tuluk first distinguished himself during the siege of Ranthambore, in which the Khalji forces were led by Ula Khan. Beginning of the reign Tuluk became a provincial governor of Dipalpur under the Khaljis. Aladdin Khalji had prepared an expedition of 10,000 men under Ghazi to go to Dipalpur to fight against the Chagatai Khanate Mongols. Ghazi secured Multan, Uch, and Sindh at a time when Khalji died, and Aladdin Khalji's sons proved incapable and caused confusion in the affairs of the kingdom. Aladdin Khalji's son Qutbud Din Mubarak Shah was removed from the throne of Delhi by Khusro Khan. But he was unpopular with the Muslim nobles due to perceived liberality towards Hindus. Ghazi Malik and his son Fakir Malik collected the forces of Sindh and Multan and overthrew Khusro Khan. In 1320, Ghazi Malik was crowned as the Sultan of Delhi with the title of Jiyath al Din Tuluk and his son Fakir Malik was given the title of Muhammad Shah Tuluk. Reign He founded the Tuluk dynasty and reigned over the Sultanate of Delhi from 1320 to 1325. Jias's policy was harsh against Mongols. He had killed envoys of the Ilkhan Olyaitu and punished Mongol prisoners harshly. He had fought various campaigns against the Mongols defeating them in 1305 at the Battle of Amroa. When Jiyath Tuluk proceeded from Multan to Delhi, the tribe of Sumro revolted and took possession of Thatta. Jiyath al-Din Tuluk appointed Tajuddin Malik as governor of Multan and Khwaja Katir as governor of Bakr and he left Malik Ali Sher in charge of Sewan. In 1323, Jiyath al-Din sent his son Ula Khan later Muhammad bin Tuluk on an expedition to the Kakatiya capital Warangal. The ensuing siege of Warangal resulted in the annexation of Warangal, and the end of the Kakatiya dynasty. In 1323, he appointed his son Muhammad Shah as his heir and successor and took a written promise or agreement to the arrangement from the ministers and nobles of the state. He also started construction of Tughlaqabad Fort. <laughs> Death In 1324, Tughlaq turned his attention towards Bengal, currently in the midst of a civil war. After victory, he placed Nasiruddin on the throne of West Bengal as a vassal state, and East Bengal was annexed. On his way back to Delhi, he conquered Turhut North Bihar. 
At Afghanpur in February 1325, the wooden pavilion used for his reception collapsed, killing him and his second son Prince Mahmud Khan. Ibn Battuta claimed it was a conspiracy, hatched by his vizier, Jana Khan Khwaja Jahan. He was in Tuluk dynasty. 